Hi and welcome back to another video on the Budget Mini Clubman. Right, like I mentioned, the next job on this car will be to sort out the rear quarter area. Now I left you in the last episode where I showed you that this repair section, or it's been cut out of another car, came with, with this car. Uh, that size would have been done by the previous owner um, and it didn't look like it needed so much, you can sort of see the weld lines. But this side on, on the driver's side is quite bad, so luckily they've cut it and they've left everything I need. So I'm going to unpick the spot welds on here and I'm going to keep, I'll still keep this I think because this is quite good for doing future repairs on cars because it's quite a common rust area but it's perfect inside. So I'm going to draw the spot welds out on this and I think I'm going to put this rail in first. So this is basically the rail that clips your rear door bin, your rear door card in and your door bins. So I think I'm going to do this first before cutting out the rear quarter because then I've got like, a, it's almost acting as a brace then. I think that's probably the best way to do it. So. I'll flip around now and I'll show you the car again and see how quite how bad this panel is. I've never seen one go this bad on the inside. It's obviously, I think the opening rear quarter windows definitely hasn't helped it. But yeah, we'll get this repaired. So show you the damage to the car now. We'll get this drilled out and prep up this panel. And then we'll go around and look at the rest of the rear quarter because I do think this car does, it will deserve a rear quarter and we have got one now. So yeah, let's have a look at the car. Right, so from looking inside, you can really see, let it focus, there you go. You can really quite see how bad that is. Um, luckily, the section that we've got, it does come all the way up to the ends. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that first. From studying it a little bit, that looks like there's a little flange there, which looks like it's pretty easy to unpick off. And that's all sealant from factory around that. And then down on this end, it's tacked there, or spot welded there, and it's spot welded there to the to the original frame of the car. So that's gonna be my tactic, I think. I'm gonna put it back in. There you go, focus. I'm gonna put it back in the exact same way it's sort of been put on the car previously, or originally, because obviously this is the original panel. But you can see why I want to do this first, because number one, I think, obviously it gives me the plug welding area to be this lip again to weld to and number two it acts as a brace so on the rear quarters cut out you've still got something there and you guessed it I'm gonna be painting the inside of this in the body colour so I think it's definitely the best way to go don't think it's gonna take too much to cut it off there but I'm gonna nib it off each end here take this out and then I can start prepping up the new panel also I've had a bit of a dig around this is all glue and these arches are really really good so I will get rid of the sound deadening, but from looking at it, it's pretty good under here. This rear quarter is just toast. It's really, really quite bad. And you can see you see the rust going through from underneath it there. So we'll do all this first, I think. So let's get this. It's either, uh, blah, 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 blah. no, I think we'll get the new panel prepped up ready and then we'll cut this out because I can see how much of a new panel it will cover on the car. Right, so I've just gone over the the panel with the fibre wheel and you can now see clearly where all the spot welds are. So you've got one there, you've got one there, another one there and you, that way you can, without damaging the panel too much, you can get your spot weld drill bit onto it and hopefully drill them out because I really want to save this piece but like I mentioned in there it's absolutely immaculate so I quite like to keep this as a repair panel in the future because it is a common rust point and even if you need to cut out a little section of this in the future it's, it's a basically a glorified panel made for you. So it's definitely worth doing. So let's get the, the drill bit out and let's get these out. Right, so that's as many spot welds as I can get out of it, I think. But you can see just how much the gap's opened up on top of it now. And through it. So this panel is very loose. So I think there might just be a few little nicks of metal that are holding it on. There you go, you can see. It is worth taking the time to do this method than just grinding it off. Because like I say, I want to save this panel for future. And this is the panel I don't want to damage, so. 
I just pry it apart. I don't think there's much holding it on now. There you go. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. So you can see that's like I assume the car this came off as red originally. That's red paint. It's all shiny. So but now I've got this panel to put into the Clubman. That was well worth doing. Bit of a hammer and dolly in, get it straight. And I've also got this, which is absolutely mint, for some future repairs, because that's a good bit of steel. And it's the right profile, you know, if you had to do a little window ledge repair there. Perfect. Job well done, I think. Right, so there's the panel with the spot wells drilled out. And you can see whoever's cut it has actually fallen a bit short. But luckily, that end looks like it's just surface rust, so I'm gonna try and clean that up. Be a bit tricky to make that, I think. But you can just see, <laughs> I'll hold it, I'll go show you from the other side now, how much this lip's gone, just by how the height of this sits. So there it is in, in its position. You can see, no, there isn't even any out or inner left. So, did you see the height of it from my hands holding it? Not so bad at the back, but it's pretty gone here. So yeah, I'm gonna get this cut out from the, other, the original one cut out now. And Right, so with my spot weld drill bit, I managed to draw the spot weld out from there, and that's that folded over, and then the spot weld out from there. And with my friend, Mr. Chisel, I've now got that right off there, you can hear it, hear it crunching away. So I don't think it's really attached much at the top. So I'm gonna mark it from where the new panel comes up to here and cut this out. And to be honest, I'll probably just have to fold the lip over. And then I've got my mounting point from where that spot weld was. And obviously a bit of this panel left to line it back up. Right, so there's the old one cut out. This is roughly lining up with this. And I've left a bit too much on the back there, so I'm just gonna cut it now with the grinder so I've got a nice, I have to seam weld up that joint. But I mean, it already looks better. From this side, you can see just how much has come out of it now. Basically, I got rid of all this old lip as well, because I'm not welding to that yet. Obviously, I'll put the new panel in, quarter panel, and then weld to that. So that's that. And look, just how bad. That was the ledge off the top. That's very gone. It's the problem with these opening rear windows is the seals go and they're not the best anyway, even when you put a new seal on. So yeah, that was long overdue. So that's going straight in the scrap bin. It's not even usable. And we'll line up that new panel and let's get it welded in. Right, so I've got that fitting nice. That matches where the spot weld went and where that one was. And then along here, that's, it's hanging in by itself, it's, it's nice and tight. So, obviously I have to weld that, being cautious so I'm gonna have to tremble it back maybe. Just gotta fit the door card in, but you can see the ledge there. I'm gonna clean all this back, this is all just surface. It's a good bit this. And then seam weld it up there. And then that leaves me a new, new ledge here to be able to put my quarter on. So yeah, let's crack the welder out. Get this panel cleaned back the paint off it, and let's go.
Right, so we've got it welded in. I put a plug weld up there. There's a plug weld down there. That's basically replicating the two spot welds to hold it in that end. You can see basically I've already got my holes drilled ready to put the new panel in at the top before we do my spot welds. My, my, my spot weld drilling at the beginning, sorry. And at the back, I've seen, seen welded it and you see me just grind it back with my, my little belt sander and I've just cure rusted what was left from the original bit which just got a minor bit of surface rust on it. And that is that. So yeah, it looks a bit horrible with all this underneath it still, but remember that whole panel is getting cut out next. But I wanted to put this back in so I've got a solid thing to line it back up with and also I, I see it as a brace. So that's now, now in. I'm really chuffed with how that's gone. I've never ever done one of these before. So yeah, job well done. What I might do is when the uh, quarter's off, I might do a little bit more welding to the, to the back just to get a bit belt and braces, but we shall see. It's, it's, obviously you saw it me then, I, I lent on it, you saw it move, but that's obviously because there's nothing all the way along it is nothing attached to it because the quarter is now not attached to it so it's basically attached to each ends but i'm really really quite chuffed with that so i'll leave this video with that curious doing its job a bit too much on there but the curious doing its job and then i'm going to zinc prime sand back all that paint and i'm going to zinc prime all of that and then we're ready to rock and roll with the rear quarter panel once again guys thank you for following along with this build um it, i see that it's quite good progress that i've never done that panel before it's in we've got a nice brace in there now it's at the end of the day either way i see it as soon as you get cutting away rust and you're lining up new panels and you're putting panels in you're going in the right direction so luckily i got that with the car and you can see from the other side that i showed you earlier on in this video that the previous owner's obviously done the exact same thing on the other side um job done you know it saves me a job on that side it just needs the weld dressing back a bit more but when i get to paint prep stage i'll do bits and pieces like that a little bit more i really just want to get the panels on the car so when i get to spring um you know you're not you're not sanding back paint in damp weather and stuff like that so that's my aim i want to get all the welding done as much as i can and obviously we're going to crack on with the 89 build as well so the 89 build has a bit of a luxury it sits in a garage it's a little bit better so yeah really chuffed with that next next job is whip that quarter off again i've never done it before um i'm going to attack it in the same similar sort of way as you do a door skin i'm going to cut like you go down the seam on that door pillar because i know there's a few panels there um from doing the a the uh the posts the a and b posts on the, the 89 i know there's quite a few panels you have to got to really be careful and i've also checked back and i've watched things like matt green's videos and he's quite informative where he shows you that there's a few layers of metal there so yeah it's a case of taking your time really there's no point rushing it because you're just going to cut away metal you can't replace so i'm going to get the big bulk of it out if you haven't got to trim the top at all because we've got rid of that already cut the big bulk of it out so come down the sides um disconnect it from the bottom and obviously i haven't connected the seal that end either so in theory when this goes in it should tie everything together that's what i hope but obviously it's a magnum panel i'm a bit nervous about that in the sense that they don't tend to fit that well but I've heard good things about the Magnum quarters. They seem to go on quite nice. Uh, yeah, we can only do what we can do. That panel's got to go. So if I get it on there and I, I you know, hold my hands up and I've got to go and spend more money on a panel, then yeah, the budget takes a hit, but at the end of the day, the car needs to be right. But I'm 80%, 90% sure really that that panel should go in. It lines up quite nice with the panel that's already there. So yeah, next video, I'll cut that out. Thank you for watching guys, if you haven't already and you're really enjoying this build, please hit that subscribe button because I'm cracking on with this build, I'm cracking on with the 89 build, um, we've got some wheel refurb, we've got bits and pieces and we've got all the shows coming up now so don't miss out on that. Um, yeah, I'm really really fired up now, I, that, that panel came with the car and I've, I've got it on so please give this video a thumbs up if you like it, comment below if you know you, you would have done it any other way, I basically replicated the two spot welds that are in the front half and seam welded it at the back so I've pretty much done it how it was just in a different you know probably not as a cleaner manner I suppose because if you had a spot welder you just pinch it boom boom done but I don't have that luxury so anyway I'll stop going on catch you in the next one guys thank you for watching